Okay, so I'm going to continue laying out this uh, plumbing project. Uh, <laughs> so what I was going to do was, well, I guess I can do both. This water closet needs to be changed uh, where the outlet is not at the center. I want to make it want a plumbing fixture where it comes down from the bottom because this is a flush tank. And usually flush valves are coming at the top. I mean, there's a spud up here. There's a little connection up here where I can connect into from the back more or less center and where on flush tanks, it usually comes from the bottom. So I want to switch that out. But I'm looking at this white pipe. And I think that what I'm, what I'm going to do now is go through a procedure of changing the color of this pipe. Um, so in order to do that, I don't want it to be white. I want it to be more of a cyan type color. So to do that, because this is a system so I want to change the system pipes not the pipe type well okay let me just make it simple um, so I want to change the system of this pipe and it is because it's it's domestic cold water it's this piping s system okay so I'm gonna choose let's go back I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. So this pipe, I've highlighted it, and on the right-hand corner here from the properties palette, the system type is CDC, is DCW, domestic cold water. And what I want to do is right-click on it. I mean, you can make it and choose, where is it? No, I want to click on my pr project browser, right click on the piping systems and choose type properties. And once you do that, this dialog box, this type properties dialog box is gonna come up and you want to change the material, how the material looks. And by default is by category. But I want to change that. And I want to choose this, the buttons here on the right hand side. And this is the material browser. And I'm going to choose this drop down for AEC materials. Okay, so I choose AEC materials and I know that it's some. I'm going to use some type of, it, it doesn't really matter um, what you use here. Um, I'm going to use aluminum. <laughs> I'm going to use aluminum blue, but I'm going to change the color. So that's just my preference. Um, so the identity, I'm going to go back to the first tab. I'm going to call this aluminum anodized or I should call it PVC yeah, let's call it PVC I'm gonna capitalize and call it PVC uh, let's say PVC water let's explore a little bit be a little creative I'm going to leave the descriptive information the same. I'm not going to touch that. I'm just I'm going to name it something else. So I'll use that and graphics. I'm going to change that to Okay. So this graphics I'm going to change it to Let's change it 185, let's go zero. And I'm changing this to 185 to get the shade that I want, 185. And you can uh, scale this up and down however you like. And there's a 185 on here somewhere. Uh, 87, 85. Okay, it's not, 
exact, but I like to get it. Just having to like that color. 185, 185, 185. Say okay to that. And my, for the next um, color, it's gonna be zero. And choose 179. Can I get 179? Nope, 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 nope. So I'll just type it in. So 179 and 179. That's some type of a green shade. I'll say okay to that. And roughness is okay. I'll say okay to this. PVC water is what we changed it to. And I'll say okay to this. And from there, my pipe is the color that I want. Okay, and this blue outline is, let's go back and go to type properties. And that blue outline is the graphic override. Okay, that's the blue that you're seeing. There's no override, no pattern. I could go in and say cyan. Okay, pattern, I would say solid and say okay to this. And flush valves, I need to change that because my f water closets are tanks. They are flush tanks. Calculations all, I'll say okay to that. Temperature, everything looks good. The type is domestic cold water and I'll say okay to that. So we have that. I guess that's okay. That outline is okay. What if it were black? I'm just playing around now. Because that's, that's what we do in the office, right? When the, when the boss is not, not, not watching, we kind of play around and see what, see what kind of results we get. Right? Go out and get another cup of coffee or a donut. Say black. Yes, black. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it turns white. Okay, undo that. Can I undo? Yeah, okay. Okay, so, man, every morning, coffee and donuts. Yes, sir. I'll have a chocolate old-fashioned. Okay, so I got that out of the way. And so, now next, what I want to do is, I'm going to, I think, well, usually when you, when you swap out water closets, this might disconnect, but let's just see. So at the moment, I want my cold water connection to come from the bottom of this tank. And so what I'm gonna do is, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I need to load it in. So let's, uh, let's just do this. I don't know. Uh, insert. That's insert. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'll go to families and I'll come down to my water closets and I'll load in. See, this water closet has the outlet for or the inlet for the water at the bottom of the tank. And I'll say open to this. Override existing. Would you like to make it edible and continue? Yes. Okay, so it disconnected. Let's see. Let's cancel. Cancel. Is it there? Okay, I said no. Okay, yeah, so let's do this. I'm going to disconnect it and load that family in. It should already be there, shouldn't it? Or did it load? Or let's see. Let's see what Revit did. 24, private, let's see what happens. Is that it? Nope. Okay, so I upgraded it. So I'm gonna need to load it here and the flush tanks, override. So it should be here. Okay, now it's here. So it upgraded. Okay, so now 
what I want to do, that's just my practice, is to, I like to have a 3D drawing open. Right now it looks, it looks uh, harmless, but once you, once you put a, start to, once the information starts to get uh, like information starts to look like this, then it can become a little uh, hide and seek kind of thing. Uh, where was I? I was down here. Huh? You see now. Now this is the existing plumbing, and I think. I'm going to need, yeah, okay, so because it's coming from the bottom, it's not, I'm going to need to make some adjustments here. Okay, because if, there's the water closet, and the existing plumbing has the water closet directly behind <clears throat> directly behind it. So it's going through that it was like a four inch? Was that four inch or three inch? What the heck? What kind of a size pipe? It is a four inch pipe. Wow. Oh. Okay. Um so so yes, it's congested it's it can get very congested. So you have to kind of drill down into uh, your your work area to to get the results that you want again but for now because there's not a lot of information then this looks simple and the reason I like to op keep this 3D open is because it's, the editing is, is a little bit quicker I can see a little bit more and I can take off information just a little bit quicker than doing it in plan view. Because a lot of times you don't get to, you don't get to erase what you want. And sometimes Revit doesn't pick up what you want. But in 3D, you can, you can see a little bit more of the information that you want. So it makes it a little easier to edit, okay? So, um, where am I here? Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop here and um, continue with, I think it's, I think it's part, part 10, part nine or part 10, part nine or part 10, one of those two. But um, so I can, well, it's all part of it. I should, I should call this one part nine or 10, you know. Uh, I think I'll do that. Because it's all part of it, you know. There's, there's no difference between um, bringing in fixtures. It was more of a tips and tricks kind of thing. There's tips and tricks kind of category. And then there's plumbing, learning Revit type category. So I don't know. I should call it the next part. Let's call it X plus one. <laughs> okay, I think I'm, I'm going to stop here um, with the two. Just um, uh, pipe material and how to change the color of the pipe and then swapping my plumbing fixtures out. Um, I think those two will be enough for today and I will talk to you guys later.